Good day students. Today's video is on a new lesson. The name of our lesson is Plants in the Surroundings and the Environment. In today's lesson we are going to study about the different types of plants, parts of a plant, the process of photosynthesis, the process of transpiration and products that we get from plants. So first let us study about the different types of plants. When you look around, what are the different types of plants that you see? We see trees, we see shrubs, we see herbs, we see creepers and climbers. Let us first take trees. Now, what are trees? Trees are big plants that have a woody stem which we call the trunk. Trees have branches that grow away from the ground. There is some distance between the ground and the branches. Trees are perennial, that is they live for two or more years. Examples of some trees are the people tree, the banyan tree, the coconut tree. Next we come to shrubs. What are shrubs? Shrubs are also woody plants but they do not have a single stem. They branch from the base. They branch very close to the ground. They have multiple branches that come up from the root itself. Some examples of shrubs are the rose plant, the uh, hibiscus plant, lantana. These are bushy plants. So these plants are called shrubs. Next we come to herbs. What are herbs? Herbs are plants that have a very delicate, tender, green stem. These plants, though they have a weak stem, the stem is strong enough to hold the plant erect. Examples of herbs are coriander, spring onion, mint. These plants are they survive only for one or two seasons unlike the trees which are perennial have a long life. Herbs do not have a very long life. Next we come to creepers. Creepers are plants that have a weak stem. This, these plants creep or they grow horizontally on the soil in the ground. Examples are pumpkin, watermelon and muskmelon. Remember creepers they grow on the ground. They creep along the ground. Next we come to climbers. Again plants with a weak stem but these plants are able to climb with the help of some support. They have structures called tendrils. Have you seen something like this? These tendrils help to help the plant to climb. Now you must have seen the money plant. It grow. Did you see it growing on a moss stick? Money plant is a climber. See over here you can see the money plant. The pea plant is also a climber. The bean plant also a climber. So these are plants that have a weak stem but they can climb upon some support to grow and carry their weight. Next we come to parts of a plant. Now the plant is made up of two main parts the root and the shoot. Now the root is the part that, glow, that grows below the ground. Shoot is the part of the plant that grows above the ground. The shoot consists of the stem, the branches, the leaves 
and the the fruits and the flowers so this is the root which grows into the soil and the upper part is called the shoot system which consists of the stem branches leaves flowers and the fruit now let us come to the types of roots there are two types of roots one is the tap root the other is the fibrous root in the tap root you see a single thick root called the primary root it has root hairs coming out from the side these are called secondary roots and there is a root tip now plants that have a tap root are carrot beetroot radish mango mustard these are examples of plants having the tap root fibrous root plants what what are fibrous roots now in the case of a fibrous root there is no single thick root like this there is there is a bushy there is a this is a bushy root system there are branches coming branches of roots coming from the base of the stem and which are the plants that have the fibrous root rice wheat and all grasses have fibrous roots next we come to the function of the roots what is the function of the root the main function of the root is to uh, anchor the pa uh, the plant firmly in the soil number 2 is to absorb water and minerals from the soil number 3 there are roots that store food and they are edible like the root vegetables carrots turnips radish beetroot are some examples of root vegetables roots also help to prevent soil erosion that is roots hold on to the soil to stop it from being washed away by rain or stop it from being blown away by wind so roots also prevent soil erosion next we come to the stem what is the function of the stem the stem holds the plant upright the stem carries the water and minerals from the roots to the different parts of the plant the stem also carries food which is prepared in the leaves to the different parts of the plant there are stems that store food and we eat those stems examples are ginger sugarcane potato onion are some examples of edible stems why do we eat them because these stems store food in them next we come to the leaves now here i have a picture of the leaf let us first learn the different parts of the leaf the stalk of the leaf is called the petiole the flat part of the leaf is called the flat this flat green area of the leaf is called the leaf blade or the lamina every leaf has a main vein called the midrib there are also side veins now the leaves are green in color because they contain a pigment called chlorophyll and this pigment is required for the process of photosynthesis which you will be also learning now there are some leaves that store food and are edible like cabbage spinach and lettuce now on the lower side of the leaf there are pores called stomata through which exchange of gases takes place we will be studying about the exchange of gases when we learn transpiration next we come to flowers fruits and seeds now flowers are the reproductive part of a plant flowers come in different shapes different colors and smell flowers change into fruits 
fruits contain seeds there are some fruits that contain a single seed like the mango avocado these have just one seed in them there are fruits that contain many seeds for example the jackfruit pomegranate orange these are examples of fruits containing many seeds there are some seeds that are edible can be eaten like rice wheat dals and nuts and seeds that are that that are, that cannot be eaten are called inedible seeds so children we will stop at this today in my next video we will be studying about photosynthesis the process of making food in a plant then uh, transpiration and the products that we get from plants thank you